Hello, welcome to the next video on the conversion series of Venice and Centra to an electric car. My name is Jose Barriga. And uh, thank you all for watching the videos. Uh, I recently reached uh, 20,000 views of individual videos, and therefore I decided to build a website to uh, respond to the questions or allow you a way to contact me. The website is in uh, www.tampaelectriccar.com and there I put the cost, all the list of the costs and the dates and the conversion hours. There's also a way to contact me, a form, and there's also a forum if you want to ask me questions or share questions or concerns with the group. That's uh, probably the best way to contact me. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to start with the progress today. Uh, first I bought this mechanic uh, gloves because I was hurting my hands now and then, you know, little things. So this makes safer to work. This is a good idea too and they're flexible so they're, they're, they're good to work. Um, okay, on the car. I changed the um, old transmission and in the, in the uh, you know, all the old transmission is new and I had to replace one of the seals. Uh, apparently the left and the right seals are not the same and when I bought this, the new seals they sell they sold me the same for both sides so I had to buy the right seal and uh, it's quite difficult to find actually it's weird because you figure you change both sides at the same time but apparently the, the left side is very easy to change to find while the right side is very difficult to find but nevertheless I've got it I replaced it and uh, there are no leaks on the transmission now. Um, and I finally finished with the supports. Uh, the supports are the most time consuming task that I've done uh, besides the, the adapter plate. Uh, so uh, it probably is worth in the future to get uh, to convert cars that have the supports already made for sale on the internet. Or if you want to get creative, you can do it your own. But still, I'm very proud of my supports. They fit perfectly. I think they're very strong. Um, the, I'm very proud of my supports. And the final test of the motor is that nothing vibrates, nothing, nothing shakes. The, the motor and the transmission are fully supported now in the supports. There are nothing, there's nothing under you know, helping support. They are, they are perfectly supported on the supports I made. And it works really great. I'm going to show you in just a, a minute how this works. It, it seems to be working great. Um, also, um, I'm doing my taxes this month or really soon and apparently I can get a 10% tax break in the US when you convert an electric car. I, I'll see how that works. I'll keep you posted if that really works and my advantage when I do my taxes. Uh, something I want to comment, these cars or many of the newer cars have electronic speedometer and for some reason when I test the wheels and the wheels are spinning, the speedometer is not moving. Uh, I've been reading online and apparently uh, if any of the four sensors or any of the four indicators that are in the dashboard are not working, like the fuel gauge, the, the temperature, the RPMs or the speedometers, if any of them is break, nothing will work, I think. I still need to do some research, but anyway, I tried plugging in back the temperature sensor and the RPM sensor which is here that didn't fix the problem it looks like uh, I'm gonna try to plug in back the low gasoline and the gas fuel gauge and see if that fixes the problem otherwise I'm gonna need to research a more I may be forced to install a GPS speedometer or a mechanic speedometer but I don't know yet anyway uh, before uh, oh, the batteries I still decided on uh, lithium batteries or lead. Everything points at this time to lithium, and uh, that's because even though they are more expensive, they, they, they last much, much, much longer. Only some persons have even reached like 5,000 cycles on those batteries, while the lead acid in the best of the times is like 600. So um, everything points to lithium if I can afford them. I'm checking quotes at this time. And um, let me show you the, the, the supports. The supports that I made are basically here. This is one. This is the other in the back. 
this is the front plate that I built with part of the old uh, gasoline engine that I reused for this uh, and it seems to be working pretty good let me show you how good it works I'm going to uh, do a test with the wheels um, if you can please take the other wheel when it's spinning for my test I'm going to use the just, uh, regular cables and I'm going to just try to test the transmission in second gear and in reverse so like we're doing good. Uh, in the next video I'm going to start installing the vacuum pump over here, the controller here, and I'll show you once that is installed. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.